We've been looking at Pascal's triangle as a way of keeping track of pathways and counting all of the combinations that get us to the same location. We can similarly use Pascal's triangle to help us calculate probabilities. In this example, we're just going to be flipping a fair coin, and so the probability of getting a head and a tail are both equal. Let's consider this peg. Now I've labeled it term 3, 2, meaning it's in row 3 and it's in column 2. And by convention we're going to say that going to the left, choosing a path to the left is the same as throwing a head and to the right is the same as throwing a tail. And so we can see that to get to this particular position we've thrown a head and a tail or possibly we've thrown a tail and then a head. So essentially there are two paths to this position 3 comma 2 a head then a tail or a tail then a head. So basically there are two ways to get one head and one tail and we're not concerned about what order it is. And so we can calculate the probability this way knowing that there are two paths to the position where you get one head and one tail we can actually just take the probability of each. So it's 2 times probability of a head and the probability of a tail. And of course 2 times a half times a half is actually just one half. So the probability of getting one head and one tail is one half. And so now let's consider the probability of getting two heads and one tail and we're not at all concerned about what order they come in. So in other words we're interested in this position right here. So getting a head, throwing another head, and then throwing a tail. And it doesn't matter what order that comes in. Well we know from path counting that there are three possible pathways to get to this position which would be the same as three heads and one tail. And so there are three times the probability of flipping the coin and getting a head, flipping the coin and getting a second head, and flipping the coin and getting a tail. And so the probability of getting two heads and one tail in any order is three times one half cubed or three eighths. 